Hello children and welcome back to another story time. Are you afraid of things that go bump? Well, today we've got a story about something that goes plop. The Terrible Plop by Ursula Dubosarsky. Six little rabbits down by the lake, munching on carrots and chocolate cake. Next to the lake, in a tree up high, a round red apple swings in the sky. Soft is the wind and the tree bends low. The round red apple is all aglow. Suddenly comes a terrible plop. Up jump the rabbits, hop, hop, hop. They shout to each other, run, don't stop. We must get away from the terrible plop. Wait, little rabbits, calls the fox as they pass. Where are you hopping to so very fast? But the rabbits cry back. We cannot stop. We must get away from the terrible plop. The terrible plop, thinks the fox in fear. Maybe I'd better get out of here. Goodbye, friend monkey. I cannot stop. I must get away from the terrible plop. He runs with the rabbits the monkey and the cat, the pig and the elephant, the tiger and the bat. Soon all the animals, one by one, out of the forest they come at a run. Out comes the leopard, out comes the goose, out comes the antelope, out comes the moose. They do not stay, they do not stop, they run, run, run from the terrible plop. At last they come to the big brown bear, sunning himself in a folding chair. What's this? says the big brown bear with a frown. Where are you running to? Stop! Slow down! No, no, brown bear, we cannot stop. We must get away from the terrible plop. The terrible plop? What do I care about a silly old plop? yawns the big brown bear. Oh no, brown bear, they cry. You're wrong. The plop is fierce. The plop is strong. It's coming to get us. It's coming. You'll see. What? growls the brown bear. Stronger than me? And he grabs with his paw at the one coming last, the littlest rabbit, who's not very fast. The littlest rabbit with the littlest hop but the greatest fear of the terrible plop. Now, little rabbit, you show me where is the place of the plop, snarls the big brown bear. Oh, please, big bear, don't make me go. I'm very afraid of the plop, you know. Bear roars back. You show me where or I'll eat you up, says the big brown bear. Poor little rabbit. Blink, blink, blink. Poor little rabbit. Think, think, think. I'm afraid of the plop. I'm afraid of the bear. But the bear is here and the plop is there. Brave little rabbit. Hop, hop, hop. Back to the lake and the terrible plop. Big brown bear slowly comes to a stop. So where, says the bear, is this terrible plop? The sun is soft, the water is still, an evening wind rolls down from the hill. Tall and dark stands the big brown bear, dark and strong with his nose in the air. Next to the lake, in a tree up high, a round red apple swings in the sky. Suddenly comes a terrible plop. But this time, the rabbit does not hop. The wind rolls down from the top of the hill. But this time, the littlest rabbit sits still and turns to speak to the big brown bear. But the big brown bear is not there. The rabbit calls out to the big brown bear. Where are you going to, bear? Oh, where? The bear cries back. I cannot stop. Quick, it's coming. The terrible plop. 
one little rabbit down by the lake, happily munching on chocolate cake. All this running should really stop. Who's afraid of a silly old plop? You're not afraid, are you, children? I hope you like that book. And I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye.